And the race to fill an open Senate seat in Pennsylvania could be an early test of Democrats' new messaging strategy. It's already one of the most hotly contested elections this year. And just days before the primary, Republican and Democratic candidates are kicking their campaigns into high gear to turn out the party faithful. Lisa Desjardins has the story. Look at Pennsylvania as a magnificent map of national politics right now and the rough terrain ahead in the fight for the U.S. Senate. With the word fight most prominent on the right, where front runners are battling over who is most conservative. Republican businessman David McCormick is trying to channel Donald Trump, stressing America first on things like immigration, jobs, and trade. I'm going to fight for pro growth economic policies, deregulation, fair trade agenda. But the former president sees himself in someone else. Pre COVID, waking up with sniffles. Uh, Another former TV celebrity, Dr. Mehmet Oz, whose show aired nationally for over a decade. A lifelong Republican, Oz's opinions on issues like guns and abortion have changed over his years in public life. I'd like to have Dr. Oz come up and say a few words. In this campaign, Oz has embraced Trump's policies and won likability points from some. Do we love President Trump, Pennsylvania? The two men have funneled their vast personal fortunes into an onslaught of TV ads, at least $24 million combined. Greedy businessman McCormick cut Pittsburgh jobs. Mehmet Oz, a complete and total fraud. The attacks at one another continued on stage. Dishonest Dave is at it again. Well, I want to say Mehmet has flip-flopped on every major issue. But as the two cast each other as opportunistic. I'd like to introduce you to Kathy Barnett. An opportunity opened for someone else. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming. Just this month, political commentator Kathy Barnett has surged, with polls showing her in a three way race for first. Barnett is also a longtime anti abortion activist, whose personal story, being born out of rape, is resonating with conservatives. My family saw value in my life. I'm very grateful for that. We have people who look at the Constitution as if it's just a list of suggestions. On Friday, President Trump put out a statement saying she can't win, but he also praised her. What did you think about Mr. Trump's statement? We know that President Trump did not mix words. I think that uh, letter was favorable, <laughs> and I look forward to working with the president. She does have room to just get this last minute momentum. Katie Meyer covers state politics for WHYY and met us at Clubhouse Diner. I asked her about Barnett's chances in the fall. I think anybody who sees somebody who's more extreme, like Barnett, somebody who is, as Donald Trump said, not vetted, like Barnett, they think, okay, that's like a pretty easy target. However, We've seen that be totally wrong before. Which brings us to Democrats and another unusual candidate. Well, wow, thank you for coming up. Pennsylvania's Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman looks like a wrestler and campaigns like Bernie Sanders. John Fetterman. Fetterman gained attention as mayor of Braddock, a hollowed out steel town he helped revitalize. He's pro immigration, supports universal health care, and legalizing marijuana. <laughs> His main opponent? Connor Lamb here. Congressman Connor Lamb. Lamb became a Democratic superstar in 2018 when he flipped a previously Republican seat. He has some strong union support, but he has been outstepped and in money outmatched by Fetterman. Lamb supporters think only a moderate can win the entire state. I'm more concerned as to who will actually be able to win against whatever Republican candidate is presented in November. But Fetterman is far out front in polls, and his supporters argue his kind of Democrat, a blue-collar progressive, is the right one for Pennsylvania. I love that he's so consistent. He doesn't shift his uh, message, and I think people really appreciate that. Pennsylvania is one of the few swing states left. For the past two decades, voters here have sent mostly moderates to the U.S. Senate. But those days may be numbered. The primaries in this state are moving away from the middle, more right, and more left. For PBS News Weekend, I'm Lisa Desjardins in McVeigh Town, Pennsylvania. And this afternoon, Democratic candidate John Fetterman announced that he had a stroke on Friday, but he says he's recovering.